Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. The Panasonic GX850, GX850, at least that's the North American nomenclature, has been announced. And this, uh, this caught me by surprise. I wasn't expecting this camera. I don't recall Panasonic filling us in on this one. I think this was a surprise. I think when I was down for the announcement of the GH5 in December, and I still wasn't allowed to tell you guys about it, they told us about a few other things that were going on, but I don't recall this GX850 being, I think they left this one as a surprise for us, even on the PR team, if you want to call us that. Um, I've got the specs here. I've been going over them uh, because I find this to be a very interesting camera. The um, I've got, oh geez, uh, nine points here that I want to point out as what's interesting about this camera. Um, the, you know, in a, in a nutshell, quickly, uh, it's 4K, which is awesome but when you tie that in with another point and that is the size and weight um, it's I think the smallest lightest 4k interchangeable lens micro four thirds camera on the market it comes with an amazing 12 to 32 lens that folds right down like a pancake so a very good kit lens that makes the camera it's in keeping with the camera size and weight it folds right down to make this camera essentially pocketable um, 4K photo, an amazing feature from Panasonic. We've got it on this camera. We've got um, the 16 megapixel sensor. So like this is the same type of sensor that was in the GH4 and the G7. And uh, it's kind of nice that they didn't, um, I mean, that's, that's all you need. Most people, that's even overkill. I mean, back in the day, we were shooting 6 megapixel DSLRs and happy as a pig in poop when we got the 6 megapixels. So, I mean, 16 is you know, more than enough for most people. And we've got that large, juicy micro four-thirds sensor. This is a pocket camera with an M43 sensor instead of a one-inch sensor. So, you know, this is really good in that sense. Um, micro SD card. This is interesting. It's the first camera, I think, that uses inherently... A native micro SD card uh, and that's pretty cool uh, probably a sign of the times of the way things are going I think they probably expect to see more cameras making use of micro SD cards to keep size and weight down pretty cool and I think technology is what's enabling this and you know here again Panasonic's breaking new ground for us so that's pretty neat so okay so those were like four or five of the features I wanted to point out I guess six maybe including the weight I mean for weight and size uh, let's jump over to the specs on there because I just want to discuss that with you and point out just how small this camera is. Uh, dimensions are 4.2 inches by 2.5 inches by 1.3 inches. For those of you in metric, that's 106.5, 64.6 by 33.3 millimeters. I mean, this is very close to an RX100 or a Panasonic LX10 pocket camera size, but still an interchangeable lens micro four thirds camera. I, I think it can't be underscored enough how amazing how uh, th this is this small and it's still an interchangeable lens micro four thirds camera and it comes with an, a neat little lens the weight here is 9.49 ounces or 269 grams with battery and memory card this thing is is tiny it's small and light um very impressive very impressive there so what other points did i have here that i wanted to point out to you oh yes um uh, kind of two points, but let's let's put them into one. The touchscreen tilting LCD. So it's got a flip up LCD. That's awesome, and then it's got Panasonic's awesome touchscreen um, abilities. I think Panasonic. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Panasonic does touchscreen better than anybody else. So um, those are the points I wanted to point out to you. Uh, I think we've got everything there. Oh, and maybe as a bonus, I could I could I could add to that along with the amazing touchscreen. Um, Panasonic's amazing app because the Wi-Fi connectivity of this camera uh, in combination with their app makes it is truly awesome too. I'm using it right now filming with the G85 using the iPad and I love this app. It's the best app and connectivity of any camera system I've used. So those are the things that I find really interesting about the GX850. Again, this was a surprise to me. What do you guys think? Is there, is, what do you think about the GX850? Is this something you're interested in? Um, do you find it to be a, a camera you think you might, like would this replace a pocket camera, for, for instance? Maybe now you wouldn't buy an LX10 or an RX100 when you can get a Micro Four Thirds interchangeable lens camera for roughly the same size. 
and price. I think this is, if memory serves, I think the MSRP on this is around 550 which there's a point I should have pointed out too, is, is that's revolutionary for price. You can get an interchangeable lens, 4K, micro four thirds camera, the tiny, tiny, tiny one, and they're not gonna, like Sony would do, say, oh, this is gonna be $1,500. They're offering it to you for a little over 500 bucks. So what do you guys think? Are you interested in it? Um, is there something about it that I didn't point out that you think I should have? Uh, is there something that um, you think is a negative? Let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss this because I'm, I'm really intrigued by this GX850 and I'm looking forward to getting one in from Panasonic as soon as they have some review samples available. Thanks, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.